Yo, what's up guys? This is Crypto Clutch or John, whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm just going to give a quick update on farm. I haven't made too much progress, but I figured I've been you know, doing a video every couple days. So I just wanted to give a quick little recap of what I've been doing. It's not been too fun. Um, I don't know if anyone's ran wires before, but it's, it's kind of a pain. Um, so if you follow for Panda Discord, um, I've been posting updates, you know, kind of throughout, but yesterday and today, so far, it's, it's about eight o'clock here. Um, I've been cutting these holes uh, in the wood, like right here. We're using a inch and a quarter on most of the holes. I don't want we're doing anything bigger. It's just on this one due to it being, you know, on the edge of the wood. Well, it's got a piece of plywood right there. Um, so we have that one a little bit bigger so it's easier to do this run. Because we did this one in the same size as the rest. And that was not fun getting this last wire in there. Um, now, if you're going to copy this and you want to get it, your branch circuit inspected, which I am not. Um, so I don't really care. But... You're not supposed to have this many wires in this size hole. Really, it's, I mean, for code purposes, you're supposed to have another hole here and split up some of this wire. But I'm not trying to do that. It's a pain in the butt, especially when we come down here, because if you follow this line coming from these two panels, they come all the way through here, onto the bottom, all the way on the bottom here to these boxes, the last panel, the furthest panel, the one on the left over there, is coming to these few boxes and one into here. Um, I'll kind of give you my circuitry plan. I don't have a PDU still down here because I still have to make up all the C13Ns because I bought the wrong PDU and they had C19s and I already had C13 cords, but that's beside the point. Um, so basically each one of these will have a 30 amp circuit, um, going to them They're right here. And I labeled on each one of these wires twice. So once down here and once up here, what number this is, and that'll correspond to the breaker. So each breaker will be, you know, labeled one, two, three, so on and so forth, all the way down to 28. Uh, I'll have 28, 30 amp circuits in here. Um, and so two circuits per box. The bottom of these right here will have the PDU wire coming through that little hole back there where my finger is. I don't know if you can see it, but anyways, um, the PDUs will go there and the PDUs, you know, the plan is to kind of have this shelf, you know, four A6 here, four A6 here, PDU either mounted to the top of this or just sitting here and then, you know, maybe branching out, I don't know, maybe even, you know, figuring out, I don't know, probably the easiest way would be, you know, putting a screw through the, through the, uh, that and holding it up like that, but I'll figure that out later and update on you guys, update you guys on how I do it. Um, but that's what we've done so far here, two circuits each and they're all labeled. Uh, and then I do have, this might get a little loud, but I do have a, basically I just ran a circuit down um, from the house, just one 20 amp circuit down here, uh, like an extension, I'll, I'll show you the extension cord. Basically it's just an extension cord running, you won't be able to see much anything about here, but it just runs, you know, down there and then to here, and then we branch it off to three different outlets here, um, just so I can, have my lights which you can see now they're very very bright um i mean you can I mean, it's dark in this area right here i mean a little bit i mean you can still see just about everything like it's daytime which is exactly what i wanted it's kind of overkill i mean 200 watts of led lighting for a 12 by 20 shed it's a lot but i want to be able to see if, if i have an issue or something but i do have fans going this is as low speed that's the upper speed, so that's about just under 6,000 CFM. Um, if it has no loss, which it probably is going to have some loss, I don't know. 
what exactly, but it's nice to have those, you know, when it's, oh, I can show you what temperature it is. Cause I bought this thing from Lowe's the other day. It shows, uh, let me show okay, this. I'm back. So I, I kind of, I still doubt it's going to show up normal, but it's currently 47% humid in here and 68 uh, is the current temperature. It was about 85 today. Um, and without the fans running, it was like 93 in here. As soon as we cut the fans on, you know, a few minutes later, okay, with the doors propped open, it uh, was basically whatever the temperature is outside. I mean, there's not really any heat being generated in here. It's just that, you know, there's a little bit of ventilation that I talked about on the first video up there. It's open, um, but I mean, it's still not very much um, in comparison to how much, you know, the sun is going to make it hot in here. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, so I was talking about PDUs, you know, on these. I have more racks. I have about, uh, I don't know, five or six racks up there. I have probably more than I need. But I just, and they were pretty cheap, so I just picked them up. Uh, I'll talk about my plan for these guys. I guess I'll do it with this. So I bought these. Uh, where is it? I bought a thermostat, and it is in here somewhere, but I don't see it right now. It doesn't matter. There's a thermostat in here somewhere, I swear, um, that I'm gonna put probably, it, it has a mount for it to come like, so it'd sit here and then on this right here, cause it's on the side. And it's only good for four amps. These fans are just under two amps each. Um, so I need two of them. So the plan is either, I'm either gonna look for a fan that can hold, I mean, not a, fan, a thermostat that can hold eight amps or I'm gonna buy another one of those thermostats. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on where I, you know, a good thermostat for all four of these, it would be nice um, if I'm gonna order one that does all four, it'd be nice if I could see, you know, the temperature on like a phone app or something like that, just so I can see, you know, if it's getting hot in here or, you know, what's going on with the rigs while I'm not here. Um, but my current plan is to mount thermostat here thermostat here um, bring i'll have a receptacle right here bring that circuit to this thermostat and then bring the hot the load side of well not the, the controlled side to the receptacle right here basically if it's under like 80 degrees in here it'll cut these fans off um honestly i don't think it's ever going to do that unless it's like freezing out here like zero to degrees Fahrenheit or lower but I mean if it's gonna save eight amps of power for you know a few hours or whatever it's probably worth the little investment for a thermostat um, now if they ever go bad and make my fan stop I mean that would not be good but hopefully I mean it's rated for a full load amp um, constant uses of four amps and I'm only gonna be pulling 3.6 so I should be good um, that's another thing I'm working on. Um, as soon as I'm done recording this video, which shouldn't be too much longer, um, I'm gonna start working on pulling the wires for these panels or start stripping down all this wire and putting it to the breakers so it's ready for whenever I get power. Um, I think I showed this in the last video, but I hooked up, no, I think I was about to hook this up. I hooked up um, the CTs so I can you know, see how much power I'm using when it's hooked up. Um, it just, you know, goes to the breaker, the 120 side, and then this goes to the terminals on the back right here. It's pretty simple. Um, if you have a mining rig at home, definitely suggest one of these so you, or a watt, a kilowatt. Um, those are good too. It's just a receptacle to plug it into. Definitely a good thing to have. Another thing that we got in today, I still have to order um, some parts. I had to, well, I have to order the filters, but um we got these 24 by 24 vents we have five of them there's three there 
and two over there. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, like I don't really know how good they will be of keeping water out. Um, this is kind of this part right here is the part where oh my, is the part where I'm not an expert in. I'm not gonna be like oh my god I know everything. No, that's not me. Um, I mean I'm this a lot of this is new to me so I really don't think with as much suction as that fan array is I really think it's going to bring water in um, so I'm looking at you know some louvers that go down and out so that way it doesn't the air that's bringing in doesn't have water as much you know there's raindrops to pull in I mean this is you know does have a pretty decent slope to it but i i just don't know i mean that's a lot of air being sucked through but basically the plan is you know to have one here on the bottom um and then this is move this out of the way real well base basically it'll be sitting in here one will be in here maybe another one yeah one here one there um one here and then one right here where this wood is because uh, I mean that pretty much mirrors the fans um, other than the one in the middle there but the idea is if I don't have enough current um, CFMs to pull all the heat out that I'm going to be producing is to buy one or two um, vortex fans you know I don't know if you've ever seen the blow ups at like the events circuses or whatever carnivals but those fans, um, they pull like 10 amps each, but they move like, I mean, some of them move a lot of CFM, like five to 8,000. And the idea would be to have, you know, one sitting here, um, like in the bigger parts up here, and the other one sitting here and the bigger parts down here. Well, you can't see that down here. Um, and I had to figure out some kind of weird, interesting mount in order to do that. Um, but I'm hoping I don't have to do that and I can just maybe put like a window fan or something in here if I need a little bit of extra, you know, just air moving. Um, but we'll get to that, you know, once everything's running, um, power company is still several weeks out probably before they hook up power. Um, so yeah, I don't really think we've done anything. I mean, we've done quite a bit, um, I'm, really happy with this i mean i kind of wish i could see what it was you know at my on my phone but i'm sure it'd be more expensive to get one of those unless you guys know one you know but i i mean for 13 dollars or whatever i mean humidity and temperature those are both really important um so yeah oh i did put this switch and I don't think it was here last time. This is a Lutron um, motion sensor. I mean, I just, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like cutting the light switch on. So when I walk in, it'll just come on for me. And I also have this um, Lutron ceiling sensor that I'm probably gonna put like up there on the rafter. So it'll see, uh, yeah, up there on that little cross beam thing. Uh, that it'll just it'll sink into that by just like, simple programming and uh, it'll control my lights and it'll turn it off automatically which would be nice um, but I mean it's just like a you know because I can kind of thing it's not very expensive um, so yeah I think I'm gonna get to running more wires we finished cutting the holes earlier like I said um it's really a two-man job <laughs> if you ever do this <clears throat> you can do the first couple by yourself but once you get in like four or five wires deep it's it starts to become a pain um but yeah uh big like i said shout out to red panda mining um he's been a really big help um and it's just his community is really awesome um if you're trying to get into mining i know bitcoin went down some like 10% or something like that. Um, but I mean, uh, no, not financial advice, but I mean, Bitcoin, it's still on a pretty crazy uptrend. Um, I do think we are gonna have some weird months ahead of us. Um, I'm not really too worried about that for my farm setup. I mean, it sucks cause I 
need to pay this back. Um, I mean, it's a big investment. I mean, for me, I'm only 22. And uh, I mean, this is a lot of my time and money and, you know, just my investment that I've put in with all my ASICs, which I will show you guys later um, when I work on setting those up. But that's still probably maybe end of the week or next week. But I should start working on that because I still have to strip all those wires, strip all those wires, connect them, like I said, um, which is going to take probably two or three days worth of time because basically I work from 7 to 3.30, get off work, come straight here, work, and then go play volleyball um, at like 8. So uh, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of work to do this, um, but we're getting there. I'm slowly, slowly getting there. Uh, just want to take you guys along for the ride. And if you guys have any questions, definitely leave it in the comments. I know one guy was asking um, about, you know, how I just did the calculations on, you know, these vents. And I yeah, honestly, I really didn't do any calculations. It's more of, it's a 24 inch. Those are 24 inch fans at the 24 inch hole. And I added an extra one in case I wanted to, um, you know, put anything in the that and just to give it, you know, more room to breathe. Um, Cause I mean, it's gonna be, those things move a lot of air. Like if I don't, um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not, but there's a two by four leaning against the door. Cause if I don't do that, it will slam those doors shut. Um, I mean, those are only 6,000 CFM fans, but I mean, still, <laughs> they move some air. I mean, it's like a wind tunnel if you go to the other side of it, so. All right, with that, this is Clutch signing out. Um, leave a like, subscribe if this has helped you at all. So, peace out.